Hello. Hopefully we are live. It was, let me know, hopefully, let me just know with the comments, with a thumbs up or with a, just let me know if you can hear me and see me because there was a bit of a, um, bit of a delay getting started here and said I wasn't available. So I just want to make sure everything's working. So hopefully people can see. Welcome to the live stream. We have a few people here. I see Stephanie's here. Dean's here and Nadia, hi. And Susan's here, she can hear me, that's good. So we'll get started. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I think we're gonna have, hopefully, hopefully if, uh, a few people here. It's mid middle of the week. Yes, hola, Christine, Sam's here. Uh, great, let me get my apron on. I still love this apron. And uh, we'll get started. So midweek, hopefully everybody's week is doing, you know, the, the usual uh, hump day today. So we're going to do, I mean, we always do easy, easy meals on, on, the, on the channel. If I can get this thing tied, holy. Uh, easy meals on the channel. But we're going to do, you know what, the weather is, has, uh, the weather here has really improved this last week. And it's brought a new life into, the sun is out more. And... It's just everything seems to be kind of happier. And so we're going to do a meal that's like a quick kind of more summery meal, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. Uh, we're going to do, uh, as the title you probably saw, um, oh, hey, Sam, uh, the title you saw, Gordon Ramsay inspired um, cauliflower steaks. Uh, there is a, I don't know if you've seen, the, there's a, there is a, like the master class. Uh, he did a cauliflower steak recipe. Uh, the one he did was ve was vegan. So what I've kind of done is kind of took a bit of inspiration from that, took a bit of inspiration from some other YouTube because everybody had kind of had followed along and done this recipe. So there's lots of videos on YouTube with cauliflower steak and they're vegan, but we're going to, we're going to switch it up a little bit. Obviously we're still going to do vegetarian, uh, but uh, not vegan. We're going to use some, some butter in there. So there's going to be some dairy in this one, but we're going to try it out and hopefully Hopefully it turns out we're going to, so basically what we're going to have uh, for ingredients to start, I did list it down below in the description. So hopefully if you, if you're following along, you can always check out there ahead of time. If not to make it later, it's all listed down below or you can kind of rewatch it fast forward. So we're going to use a cauliflower. We need a whole cauliflower. You can't use florets for this. So you got to buy a whole, whole head of cauliflower. We're going to do a, we're going to do some caramelized onions for on top of that afterwards. The recipe that, that Gordon Ramsay did was with mushrooms, uh, different mixed mushrooms, but I don't have any mushrooms. So I thought, well, this will, this will be good. So we'll do like a caramelized mushroom, uh, sorry, caramelized, caramelized onion for on top after. And then I've got some mixed greens uh, from the store. We're gonna make a, just a tossed salad and I'm going to cut up, I got a little a little yellow pepper and some, some cherry tomatoes. We'll cut up a few of those. We'll toss it together and I'm gonna do it with a, a lemon, just, a, just I, I, uh, for vinaigrette, I don't have vinegar, like we don't actually have vinegar <laughs> in the house. So for the acid on that, I'm going to use some lemon juice and just some olive oil, some some cracked pepper on there, toss it up. Just a fresh, nice salad with a squeeze of lemon juice. It'll be good. And I think it'll be good with the with the cauliflower and the steak and everything else. Um, and with the butter, that's going to be kind of the sauce for the steak. It, it should be good. So we'll try it. And good question, Christine. No, I've never made, I, I, I've obviously I've cooked broccoli. I've made a salad, but I've never made this exact dish so that we're flying we're flying blind here together, um, and it's. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. I, I, hopefully, it's it's good. I mean, the ingredient, the base, the base ingredients. I mean, I like cauliflower. I like you know, I like caramelized onions. I like butter, so it should be good. So let's let's just get started. I've got the oven uh, heated up. It's at four twenty-five, so it's been heating up, and the pans we're going to use. I've got my saute pan. We're gonna we're going to um, uh, sear off the cauliflower first in there. I'll show you what we do with that. So I've got that heating up, but we are going to finish uh, the cauliflower in the oven. So I've got that just to put the cauliflower on in down into the oven. If you're not having a if you're not having a salad with this, you could have. I mean, you could make mashed potatoes. You could do baked potato. I mean, much like uh, the the idea I'm getting out of this is this is going to this is replacing our steak, right? So whatever you would basically serve with normally a grilled steak from the barbecue whatever dish this is what we're replacing it with and we'll um we're having a salad tonight nice light dinner so hey lois 
we'll get started here. So with the cauliflower, you want to buy, like I said, you want to buy the whole, the whole head. You don't want to clean. We want to keep some of the stem in there. So we just want to trim out some of the, uh, the green, like the green leaves on there, but still leave the stem in place. Okay. Cause what's going to happen. We want to, we want that to hold everything together as best as possible. Now with this recipe, we're only going to be using the, the middle part of the, of the cauliflower and then just trim off the, the end, the brown part. So we want to leave it like that uh, all together. For this part, we're only going to use, it's, it's going to sound, it's going to sound wasteful, uh, but we're only going to use the center parts because they're going to be quite large. And then the end, end pieces we'll keep, we'll just put back in the fridge and we'll use for, for just for snacking. Um, just because size wise, we want to kind of have a couple of steaks the same size. Now with broccoli or sorry, broccoli, cauliflower, sometimes you get, you know, you unwrap the, the, the cauliflower and it's sometimes a little bit brown. You can just trim that off, just kind of scrape it off. It's not, it's not rotten. It's just some of the, sometimes it's like just the uh, dirt on there. So you can kind of get that off. I've already washed this and then um, that piece has come out. We're just going to see a few questions here. If I miss your questions, don't, don't hesitate to, uh, to type them again. It's sometimes it's hard in the, in the chat to catch everything sometimes. So if I've missed something, by all means, just type it again. Maybe do it. You can even yell it, yell it in all caps if you want to, if you had a question, I don't mind. Um, and then if some, if I've missed something, if someone catches it that I've missed, call them, call me out. So I, so I catch it. Okay. And Christine, yeah, I've, I should, this, this was the best, this was the best deal. Canadian brand new. It's not, they're nice when they're brand shiny new. Sorry, Dean. Breaking the bank, they're not that expensive. They were on sale. So for the cauliflower, uh, you want you want to we want to I want to get like two pieces out of this. So basically, what I'm going to do, you want to cut it first. Uh, I'm going to get two kind of like finger size pieces. If I want to kind of judge it, because you're basically cutting off the part that's not on the stem, and we'll save that for later. And then we'll go through and get a nice piece like so and a nice piece. So you really only get like two out of two pieces. So they're fairly, they're fairly thick as you can see one's, well, one's a little bit thicker, but that's okay. So I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna cut that down a little bit just so they'll cook the same time, but it's close, close as possible, okay. Now, to get this ready to go into the grill, what we're going to do, we'll season it all on this pan, and then we'll put it back. Have some cauliflower snack. So on top, a little bit of olive oil. Not a ton. This is just to be enough. So we'll get some oil in the pan so they don't stick. But also, what we'll do, rub that on there. And mostly this is so our spices can stick. So to keep with the, with the steak theme, I have some, I do have some salt-free steak spice. So this is like a mixture of spices. Now, if you're curious about what this actually is and some of the spices we use, I left a, I did a video today. It's posted on my channel. So check out my latest video and I check, I, I talk about all the spices. So check that out later. Um, so we're basically going to season this like we would normally season a steak. And then I'm going to put some cracked pepper on there as well. You want to do both sides of these. Okay. And then for a little bit of spice, we can't, we have to go with, we're going to do the chipotle, chipotle powder. Another, another good one to use maybe with this, this is quite, this is a little bit spicy. So you don't want to put a ton on that. You could also use paprika or a little bit of smoked paprika would be nice on there as well. And that's it. So in the pan, I'm going to do kind of a medium, like medium high heat. 
and we're going to brown this in the pan. It's gonna let the pan heat up a little bit, okay? And for the rest, this is pretty, sim pretty simple actually. For the caramelized onions on top afterwards, we're gonna use the same saute pan. So I'm just gonna cut the onions up now, just so they're, so they're ready to go. Oh, thanks Nadia. Saw the video today, yeah, I just posted it this afternoon. So yeah, check it out. I'm gonna try and do more of those videos. I know I know. sometimes I miss everybody's questions as we're cooking, because sometimes I get, I get sidetracked cooking, or I, miss, I just miss them. And uh, so what I'm gonna try and start to do is if, if, I, I, you know, if there's a question that comes up in, in the chat about something that I don't necessarily get to, or, or sometimes things can use a bit of more explanation, what I'll do is I'll film a video and then I'll post it on my channel. So it will give you some more, uh, some more stuff to see and a bit, a little bit more in depth stuff. And Sam uses silpat. Yeah, silpats are great because they don't stick. Okay, I'm just gonna get a plate for this. Bowl. So for the onion that we are gonna uh, caramelize, I peeled it. And I'll just cut it in half. It's gonna it's gonna seem like a lot of onion, but I'm but it's gonna break down when we cook it. I'm gonna cut up for this for two 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 steaks. There, I'm gonna cut up one whole onion, and then uh, once it's peeled, uh, we'll turn it sideways, and we're gonna do we're gonna do thin slices. this and we're gonna use we're gonna use two and it's gonna seem like it does seem like a lot but they break down and when we do caramelize them they get nice and they get nice and sweet so it'll be okay to eat and if you have any left over you could always heat them up again and if you're making something else to, for, for them the next day you can always use use them up so we'll just put these on the side and we will uh, use them after we're We've seared our steaks off. Who's hungry? Christine's hungry. Oh, Jason, only two. Well, they're fairly they're fairly large. That's all the cauliflower we had, so it should be okay. Cauliflower is like it's actually quite filling once you because it's like a pretty big piece. So. Hopefully, everything is good. How's everybody's week been so far? Mike's here. So in the pan, touch of olive oil, not a lot because we're going to be putting we're going to be putting butter in there too. And I guess I didn't ask what is everybody else's having for dinner tonight. That's another question. I know what Nadia's having because she messaged me on Facebook. But what's everybody else having? And I know what Stephanie had because she posted on Facebook. And I don't know if. There was, I know Susan's watching. Susan made one of our dishes from Monday. She made the she made the one pan dinner, a variation of it that she said. And then I had a message from Miranda, and I don't know if Miranda's here or not. Sorry if you are, and I didn't say hi. Uh, she had messaged me a uh, pictures, and she had it as well with the chicken, and she said it was great. So if you haven't tried that recipe yet. Uh, Check back on the video and have it have it for uh, for dinner. It's easy, easy, and it's been popular. All right, so we're gonna heat that up, and I don't know if my pan will fit both. We're gonna try. I might have to do it separate. No, we'll fit them both in there because what we want to do. You can probably hear that sizzling, hopefully, and that's the sound we want. We want the pan nice and hot. Because it's gonna it's gonna caramelize and brown the brown the cauliflower, so it gives it kind of that 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 grilled, you know, sautéed taste. Oh yeah, Christine. Yeah, if you have the pictures, I should check. I'll have to double check that, Christine. Uh, that'd be great if you could post them on my webpage. I have to check to make sure I've allowed people to post on there. But good, good call. If I haven't, I will do that after tonight and let you know that you can, yeah, you can absolutely post, uh, tag me and post them on my page. That would be awesome.
Oh, Susan's having pork chops tonight. Oh, that sounds good. With cauliflower and salad. There you go. That sounds really good. And different spices. Um, it's kind of neat because everybody said they're trying new spices, that, which they haven't normally normally tried. So that's always kind of neat to hear. People trying things that they haven't uh, haven't tried before. And it is neat, Christine, how other people's meals turn out. Because I know, like, I'll share I'll share a recipe, but you don't have to follow it 100%. I keep I, that's kind of what I say is if you can mix and match, or you have something that you want to maybe try that, you, or if I'm cooking something that you don't like, just try and change it up with something different. That's what most of these recipes are fairly similar. So if one of the ingredients is omitted or you're changing one thing to the other, they'll usually still work. So. Tight fit, but this is working. So you can, you can see there it's starting to got, it's gotten, gotten nice and brown on top. So that looks good. I mean, now what we're going to do on that, I'm going to turn it down to about medium and I've got some unsalted butter here. I'm going to put the unsalted butter in there and the butter, cause the pan is hot. The butter's going to brown a little bit and give it a nice, nice flavor. But what we're going to do, and I think some people have maybe done this with steak before, because I think I, if I remember correctly, that's kind of where I got this was with Christine did it. They were doing steak and they were butter basting the steak. This is where this idea kind of came from. So as it melts, what you want to do is just kind of tilt the pan. Hopefully you can see this okay to get the butter. And just keep basting the the cauliflower on there. We're gonna let that kind of kind of cook. Uh, so we make cookies. We have flour now. We have to. We're slowly assembling our baking. So we have flour. I need to get some baking soda. So we'll make some scones. Uh, we're slowly getting our baking. So we'll do we'll do a baking episode for sure. I'm not a baker though, so it might be more funny than it, than actually informational. But we'll see. I better we make cookies. Mm. Mike's have mashed potatoes, chicken, corn, and peas. That sounds good, Mike. That sounds really good. Mashed potatoes are good. We should do a mashed, we'll do a mashed potato episode. Just have mashed potatoes. We could eat those every day. Uh, yes, analog. Uh, butter in the pan right now. Uh, it's just butter. I put a little bit of... Um, just a touch of olive oil in the very beginning when I when I seared like seared off the so you can hopefully see there uh, maybe not yeah you can see the butter kind of sizzling there so I'm just coating the as it as it cooks I'll baste the cauliflower with it Now, what, uh, so we've got that. We're going to need this pan to do the onions in. I'm going to transfer it onto the, I'll do it on the cutting board so you can, you know what, so you can actually see. We've just got the, the pan. So what I'll do, because we're going to finish this in the oven, it's going to probably need about 10 or 15 minutes or so in the oven. I'm going to put the pieces there. And all this extra butter... We wanted to pour onto the cauliflower. And then we'll get all the all the bits. This is all the spice, cracked pepper. There we go. And then we're gonna use that pan again. Because we just had cauliflower in there and all the onions are gonna cook, we're just we'll just use the same pan. So into the oven, it's at, oven's at 425 and it will take, oh, let's say around, I bet you it's going to be around 15 minutes. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll touch and feel. Uh, just because we're having to mix the salad, it's just a matter of just waiting until that's done. So if it takes a bit longer, we're good. We don't have anything else really hot to cook except the onions, which will start. Uh, there's not a ton of butter in there. Well, it's... You know, it won't it won't make it mushy. No, 
we're gonna the, the cauliflower too we'll take we're gonna take out of the oven christine before it's like really really cook as you know i think from seeing other videos and stuff that i like we like like i like cooking the veggies with still a bit of crunch to it that's kind of for every every vegetable so we'll make sure we take out the cauliflower uh before it's you know completely mush for sure but the, the butter no there's not a ton i mean it might have looked like a lot but there's not not a lot of butter on there not enough to make it uh I've got my tea today, ginger tea, ginger and honey. So onions, we do need a little bit more olive oil in there just so it doesn't, doesn't start to stick. Not too much. It's on medium heat. And we will let these saute and caramelize. You don't have to pay too much attention to the to the onions. They'll kind of do their own thing. Oh, we've got a bunch of new people here. Seth's here, hello. If I miss people, I'm sorry, but uh, we'll try and get to everybody. New people though, it's always kind of nice to see. We're doing good for time. We like to have everything ready in the live stream from start to finish, under an hour. We're just about tw just over 20 minutes so we're doing we're doing good we'll get the as these are starting to caramelize we'll start to get the salad ready just cutting up cutting up the vegetables for the mixed mixed salad and those will eventually all cook down so it looks with the onions like it looks it looks like a lot but once these are all done it'll be a third of what's here it'll look it'll look like and i dropped one on the floor we'll pick those up throw them away i've uh, got so we'll do the mixed greens this is just the mixed mixed salad greens you can buy in the store uh this is just kind of a mixture you could do this with this would be good with spinach as well there's some spinach mixed in there but just your mixed summer greens and I've got a yellow, yellow pepper or orange pepper to put in there. And I'll put a few. I've got some cherry tomatoes. Basically, in the salad, I mean, you could put, you could put kind of anything, anything you want with in terms of vegetables, um, whatever's kind of left over. Uh, what else is what else is usually good in a, in a mixed kind of spring salad is some is some like sliced uh, red onions. But I'm not putting any of those in there because we're going to have onions on with the. With the cauliflower, so there's no point. You, want, you don't want too, you don't want too much onions. So I'll just cut these in half. If you have the larger tomatoes, you could just cut them into diced diced pieces. But this one we'll just put in half here. And then these peppers these peppers aren't hot at all, so we'll, we can put the seeds in. They're, these are just more sweet, so we don't have to be too too concerned with the seeds. Or the peppers for the spice so we'll just slice those inside oh everybody likes red onion i like red onions too lois yeah they're, they're always good in salad so for that that's all we're gonna have we're gonna have in there now if you did have some uh maybe some goat cheese would be nice on this too if you wanted um that would that's always good in salad if it's uh if you wanted to like not have vegetables it's always kind of good you know what would be good would be goat cheese with some uh, raspberries, if we're if there's fresh raspberries, that's even even better. But maybe some frozen raspberries taken out, put in there. Goat cheese, raspberry, and um, uh, with a vinaigrette. So with with this, let me just turn these onions. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna mix it quite yet with the dressing, but we'll get it. We'll get it ready now. With with a lemon, I always like to use the use the use the zest whenever you can so we're not we're not wasting cilantro yeah see everybody's everybody's doing good here with all these things um cilantro is a great idea nadia that would be very good in there as well um yeah there you go i'm gonna be out of a out of a channel soon everybody's everybody's got lots of ideas so we've got the the zester and this is nice in a salad and 
that way you're not wasting any of the lemon either because we're going to use the juice but this is going to give it a nice nice taste as well and it, i think i've said it before but when, whenever you whenever you use this it, just the the smell with when you use these zesters you can smell the lemon it's cra it's crazy how how much the smell comes through you really if you haven't used a use zest for anything you got to pick up one of the, one of these uh, microplanes because they're they make it nice and they make it nice and small so you can almost put it in anything and when you like when you after you after you do the zest the whole place smells like lemon it's great so we're just going to leave that on the side no dressing no dressing yet okay but we will get we will get the lemon i'm going to just squeeze squeeze the lemon juice out uh, into a measuring cup so we have it ready for later and we'll just make what we'll do is we'll make our vinaigrette now the onions you really do want to cook on medium though they will take a while if you do them too fast they'll just burn but we want them like, and we do want them to kind of caramelize. So definitely medium, not not any hotter. So squeeze some lemon juice in there. Now, all the recipes we do as well are low. Like we're not adding, we don't, you're not seasoning seasoning with salt or anything like that. Um, so lemon is actually a good substitute for salt as well. Because when you eat, if you actually were to squeeze it over any kind of any kind of food like chicken, vegetables, it has the same kind of. It makes your mouth kind of do the same thing as what salt would do, like kind of water, and just brings out the flavor. So that's kind of a good substitute if you're looking for to kind of eliminate your your salt on things, and you but you're so used to dump you know dumping salt. Try squeezing a lemon over your vegetables or over uh, over your piece of chicken or fish, that kind of stuff. You'll uh, you'll enjoy it. So we'll just let that let some lemon juice there, and we'll mix that in the salad after. Here we go. I'll just look back here, uh, Tammy. Yeah, these. So let's go up while this stuff is cooking. Kalamata. Lots of good ideas here. Kalamata olives. Uh, feta would be good. Yeah, feta would be really good. Um, so Tammy, I'll answer your question on a zester. These are, I should do, a, I'll do a video on these so you can see all the stuff you can grate. Oh, you know what we could put on top of the salad? I just thought of that with this, with this zester. Is we've got, uh, we've got some wal walnuts and like, I'll show you, like the zester is great. Like even with walnuts, and nuts it's called um it's called a mic it's called a microplane and they have different models this is just kind of the the i'm not even really sure some have handles and stuff but this it, it'll even do it'll even great and you probably see that that's a walnut so you can actually grate nuts and stuff over things so that would be good these are the most um, and there's like no way no waste you can do the whole thing um they're the best these are the these are the most amazing, <laughs> not sponsored, but these are the most amazing zesters that you've ever you've ever tried. If you don't, if you if you're used to having those ones that are like you know on the thing, you have to you have to zest it. And the, the the juice sprays everywhere, and it's just more of a, it's more pain in the butt than worth getting the zest from. Get a micro, get a micro uh, micro plane. They're amazing. Do you have a Sam? Do you have do you have the same one of these ones? Oh, same. Yeah, uh, Susan. Yeah, these are. I mean, you can even run your finger against the blade. Like you can't. You can't cut. I mean, you you probably could cut yourself with it, but it's not. I mean, that's a, that's against the the blade, so it's not like it's going to um, really really slice you. It's actually safer than those other ones. You've probably seen the other ones that are on the like it's like a peeler almost with the round holes that you have to zest, and it comes in long pieces. So if you're putting it in something else, you gotta you you gotta chop it after that. 
this is just perfect. It, it's for everything. And then you can do, so we did like with the lemon, with a zest, it's perfect. With uh, with nuts, you can, you can grate. Uh, you can also do like hard cheese. So if you had Parmesan cheese, you can grate with that over pasta on the microplane. Yeah, I don't know. I might have, a, I can, I'll track this on Amazon because I do put links, of course. Good, good, good one, Christine. Thanks for my, my, my new BDM. But uh, <laughs> I will put a link if I find uh, one of these on Amazon. Sometimes you can't find them, but I, you can get them at kitchen shops for sure. Not, not so much. You have to kind of go to a specialty shop. They would have them on there. Yeah, for Parmesan, it's awesome. It's it's awesome. Parmesan, if we had, it would actually be nice to be sprinkled a little bit onto the cauliflower as well. You, that's another topping you could put on there. Would be good. Kind of anything you would normally put on a steak, like uh, if you had if you're in cheese, like blue cheese, like melt some blue cheese on the cauliflower in the oven at the very end. That would be good too for like the sauce. Basically, cauliflower. Think of the cauliflower as replacing your steak. Uh, oh, extreme close up of uh, the microplane. I can try it. It might not. You can kind of see. There you go. Hopefully that works. They're like little, little tiny blades that uh, go, and then on the inside, it's it's flat, so they just go through. Yeah, super easy. Lemon zest and vodka martini. There you go. <laughs> Okay, these are going. I'll show you the onions. So they've got a little bit, a little bit of color, but they're still, still, uh, still need a bit. So let's check the cauliflower. See how it's doing. Good for ginger too. Yeah, that's right, Justin. Oh, these are these are looking good. So they're sizzling nice, but they're still they're going to be hot. They're still quite, quite firm. So we're good for time. We're doing good. They smell good. Yeah, we've, this is like a ginger and honey tea and there's grated with the microplane as well. Oh, thanks, Cora. Cora, we got lots of new people here today. I've been, so what I've been doing, obviously, because we're, we're all cooped up at home, but I've been checking out lots of other people's, so some of these people that are probably joining us, I have probably found them because I was either watching one of their friends do a live stream of cooking, so at nighttime before I go to bed, I'll put on my headphones and put on YouTube and do searches for, uh, to see what other people, because there's so many people cooking on YouTube right now, and there's some neat, uh, some neat live streams to get some ideas of stuff to cook. Um, and uh, so maybe some of these people were probably in one of the live streams that I commented on and found me that way to check out. There's some neat, so I'm not the only one obviously on YouTube that's live streaming cooking, but there's some neat, uh, some neat recipes out there and uh, definitely some, a lot of people cooking, which is, which is neat. So if, thank you for, for, for joining us. So yeah, that's how, that's how, um, that's how Cora uh, here found us. And yeah, so most Cora, most of the people that are on this live stream are, friend, are, are, are coworkers or friends that I've known for quite a while. Um, so they, uh, they, um, they joined me that way. So basically how this channel started out is because we're, we're, you know, we're in, it's like kitchen quarantine, right? So we can't get out and have dinner parties with people because we'd like, we like to have people come over and and cook and entertain. So this is kind of a way, this kind of started as a way to, to do that, share a bit of knowledge with cooking and take our minds off stuff while everything's kind of going on. I think everything's, I mean, it's been, it's been good. I look forward to these and I think everybody, hopefully else, we've, we've had the regulars, not everybody comes all the time, Cora, but we've had the majority of people come when they can or watch it after and try the dinners. And then hopefully, once everything is back to whatever normal is going to be, uh, we'll have people over and 
we'll do the idea is to have some people over and have them also join in to do the cooking. Hopefully they'll maybe do it live. They might, if they're not into doing it live, we'll maybe film some of the stuff and uh, have dinner together and get them to share some of their old, you know, favorite recipes, maybe some baking, and then we'll post it to the channel that way and have, you know, dinner parties with friends and have them share, share their knowledge um, as well. That's kind of the idea. So these are coming along nicely. You can kind of see they're getting a little bit more brown each time I show you there. So another another few minutes there, and they'll be they'll be kind of ready. They'll go they'll get very soft. When they get towards the end, you do have to watch them a little bit more because the sugar you just don't want them all to burn. So you want to kind of keep keep keep. Uh, Keep stirring them a little bit, not to let them, not to let them get too. You want them a nice, like a nice caramelized, not to be burned on one side. That's kind of the, the goal of that. So, pizza, pizza for Mike, yeah, and hot dogs. I know is Stella still here? She likes hot dogs. <laughs> no, no hot dogs. Analog. We're avoiding. Uh, the idea, of, obviously, as well, is to do low sodium stuff. So no, none of that. Pro, no process. Unfortunately, no processed stuff because there's too many, uh, too much salt, sodium. All fresh, this fresh stuff. So could do cauliflower hot dogs. We did, <laughs> we did cauliflower tacos a couple, maybe la I think it was, was it last week? Week before Monday, it all it all blurs into one. But if you check out the channel, there is a recipe for cauliflower tacos. They were really good. It was a recipe that was shared by uh, one of my friends. She emailed, and we uh, did them in tacos, uh, like soft taco shells. That was really good, actually. Uh, that that would be perfect. So you have steak one night, and then the leftover bits of brock. Uh, I keep saying broccoli, cauliflower. You could use for tacos. So two two recipes. Carrots as a hot dog. I guess the best thing to do for hot dog replacement would be like maybe firm tofu. So you could do tofu dogs, but I would probably rather just have like actual tofu and then make it kind of spicy with stuff. Maybe do a spicy dog with something. Because then you could cut the you could cut the tofu into into like into kind of strips. Um, but. That'd be one way to do it. Even, but even those, like Sam, I, I know with carrots, I don't know how carrots would be maybe pretty hard, but I guess you, I guess if you boil them, no, I guess that's right. Maybe some smoke, like liquid smoke or something, I guess would be maybe how they do it. There's gotta be a way. But what I found though, like veggie stuff, like veggie hot dogs or something like that, like it's better to use vegetable as opposed to some of those pre-done, you know, pre-done vegetarian or vegan stuff. It's not, they're not that good. Uh, yeah, liquid smoke has a fair bit. I think if you use it sparingly, though, Sam, it's not too bad. I remember I was watching a video on that because uh, Lois had sent a video on doing bacon with carrots in an air fryer, and it used liquid smoke. And I remember looking at the looking at the um, nutritional info on the back of the, the bottle and it wasn't that bad because you're not you're just having a, it's so it's so potent you're just only putting like a few drops and then mixing it in so it's actually not it's it, it has a fair bit but not it's not crazy um is stringent you must you know you missed the beginning so ram uh, ramsey inspired there was a master class on that gordon ramsey did on and it was a vegan recipe but i've kind of like taken that and made it vegetarian because but we've added butter and We've kind of changed the, he did a mushroom topping and I'm doing caramelized onions. So it really changed. So inspired, but not the same. If you go on YouTube though, you can see lots of people have actually done his actual, actual vegan cauliflower steaks. Okay, these are almost, these are actually almost ready. You can see they're getting nice, see they're still nice, nice caramelized browned onions on there. So that's good. I'll just check the steak.
just turn those down so they don't burn them. We can let them keep going. Uh, unsalted kitchen. I'm get. Oh, hey, welcome. Tofu. So there's some good good tips here. Tofu is great with vinegar and a bit of soy sauce because low sodium. So, oh, there's a brand there with the lowest the lowest part. So yeah, if you're sparing, then there you go. Good tip. Trash can full of drawings. That's a good username. <laughs> At least the username is funny. Oh yeah, the flipping. It's just practice, Susan. Just practice. I've got. A, I do have a little bit on the floor that we'll clean that up after. So let me just check the the stakes there. Got my tongs. See, these are basically ready. I'm going to turn them over. I'll show you here. So they've gotten nice. Oops. You can see nice and brown there, and they are, they're almost, they, you can see they're softer, but they still got a bit of a, they'll be fine, like they're kind of basically done, but what I'm going to do is mix this, mix the salad, get it that kind of ready, and then um, we can take them out of the oven at the end. Uh, there is uh, chipotle pepper infused, uh, Strigid, there is chipotle pepper on that, a little bit. So it's got a little bit of smoky taste. There is chipotle pepper, there is uh, cracked pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. And then we did, uh, we have a sodium-free steak spice mix that uh, was on top there as well. So basically like, we're like cooking it, as a, we're cooking it like a steak, but it's cauliflower. Okay, let's get this, let's get this uh, cleaned up a little bit. And then, um, We'll get everything onto a plate so you can see what it's going to look like when everything's done. So just wipe everything down, clean off the kitchen here. Another meal, not many pots, so that's always nice. Just the bowl for the salad and a couple of pans. So not a lot of cleanup with this one. That's kind of what we do on the channel. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of cleanup. So thanks everybody for joining. We're getting close. So 40, we've been live for 42 minutes, start to finish. We'll be definitely done under, under an hour. That's, so that's always the goal, to get everything cooked from start to finish under an hour. So it's an easy, easy meal to do. So if anybody has any last questions, let me know. Hopefully I got to everybody. If I missed, if I missed someone's uh, question, just maybe type it in again if, I, if I've missed you. But we'll get this going. So we'll turn the, turn the onions off. And I'll show you this down here. Hopefully you can see that okay. Just sauteed, uh, browned, kind of. They're not. We could we could actually let these go for a little a little bit longer. They would be they would be good. But uh, we're gonna because the the steak is ready. We're gonna have it with us. This would also be nice at the very last minute. Uh, is if you put a little touch of balsamic vinegar in there. Or even if you have like a, re a reduced balsamic vinegar, just a drizzle on there as well would be nice. Okay. And we'll just mix up the salad now. You don't want to mix up so with the salad, we didn't mix the dress any dressing in yet because if you mix your salad up too soon, it gets uh, it gets all wilty. So we wanted to do that at the very last minute for for cooking. And we'll take the cauliflower out. It is ready. It looks good. Now, turn that off. What I am going to do, we've got that melted melted butter and stuff on the tray. I'm just going to add that to the to the onions because we'll drizzle some of that on after as well on top which is always which is always good don't want to waste any of the good flavors all right okay oh how Gord how gordon ramsay's recipe is different yeah so we'll play this up and we'll do that yeah his recipe was vegan so no dairy uh, sturgeon 
Um, and also his sauce on top, he used like a, he used sauteed, sauteed, um, it was mushrooms. So like a mushroom sauce on top. So that's, the rest is really kind of the, the same, but I'm changing it up and just doing with uh, caramelized onions on top. And in the pan, when I sauteed off and seared off the cauliflower steak at the beginning, I added butter. He didn't use butter. He just used olive oil. So a little bit, a little bit different. Just not, uh, both, both were vegetarian recipes. So got inspired by that and some other recipes that I found online. Okay. So we'll toss, let's just toss the, so hopefully that answers your question. We're going to toss a little bit of lemon juice into the salad. It's the squeeze of a lemon. And just a touch of olive oil. We've got a fair bit of butter and, you know, oil and stuff with everything else already. So it's mostly the lemon juice in here. We don't want it too like a too gre you know, too greasy of a salad. So in the salad as well, we have the spring mix. We cut up those tomatoes. We cut up a little sweet uh, orange pepper. And then with the, again, we added, we have a, bit, a little bit of grated walnut in there as well. So that's gonna be nice in the salad actually. Quite tasty. So I guess I could show you. Hopefully, there we go. We'll get this on here. So we did the recipe for two. If you're gonna replace it, you can, this is an easy one. This would be an easy one to do family style as well. You could just put the, do the, do the, do the dishes separate and just let people help, you know, help themselves with whatever they, uh, whatever they want to eat. But we'll just plate this one up. There we go. So some salad. And then before we eat, thanks everybody for joining me. It's always appreciated. Hopefully you learned something this, this time. We've got this, the cauliflower steaks on top. There we go. And then we've got some caramelized onion for on top. Yeah, it is. It's a health. It's a healthy one, Nadia, for sure. Um, and again, if you don't like onions, these are you know they're not raw, so they're not gonna they're not gonna um, be as strong. They'll be nice and sweet. They will be good on top of the cauliflower and uh that's it so i'll show you this and then we'll do the sign do the sign off so cauliflower cauliflower steak with a mixed mixed green salad hopefully that uh oh there's hey Stormin, you're dismissed at the end here um yeah it's a fair size portion i think at the beginning the, definitely susan you could if you were to have maybe these with if you were to have this this with maybe some like this is salad, so if you were to maybe have this with um, a potato or something as well, you probably could cut that cut it in half. After, you know, uh, but you want the reason the reason it looks probably so big. You want to make sure like at the beginning when I said is keeping the stem, uh, keeping the stem in place because the stem is what holds like holds all the cauliflower together or else it'll fall apart. So we got you want to make sure you have a fair fair sized piece because the um, because the uh, piece of uh, cauliflower, if it's too if it's too thin or the stem is gone, it's just going to crumble apart. There we go. So uh, we did good with time. Thanks everybody for joining me. I think we had a, almost I think probably had a record number of people come in. So that's kind of all the new people uh, coming in. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. Thanks for joining me. We've got 18 people watching. So I think we might have had over 19, which is 19 was has been the record. So as as always, thanks for joining me at here uh, the channel. We're live Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We've do, been doing a good job at uh, not missing any of the dates. So I will post the next live stream for Friday. Um, I don't know what I'm making yet, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Send me, go to my Facebook and just tell me, maybe you have an idea. Uh, but yeah, so we, we just did a cauliflower steak with a mixed green salad, caramelized onions, and 
that's it. So before we go and sign off, thanks everybody again for joining me. If you could hit the thumbs up button, it always helps the channel uh, with everybody here. I think most people that came in does do hit the thumbs up. And again, I thanks thanks for everybody that subscribed, and thanks to everybody that uh, shares this as well on my Facebook when I when I do share it out and to their friends and let their uh, friends and family know about the channel. Hopefully, we can learn a few things together. And I'm gonna eat. This smells pretty good. So we'll leave you with that. That is cauliflower steak. Thanks everybody. Have a great night, and we'll see you on Friday.